Hi, I'm Kevin Sterling, proud principal of Windsor Middle School. I'd like to show you around and see how we do things here. Ryan, you're doing it again. Oh, sorry, Mr. Shirley. I, who likes all this purple anyways? I think he was hoping that nobody would notice the difference. But there are some differences, some major differences. In fact, I think he's a little taller than me now. In fact, this year has been more different than any other year that any of us have experienced or can remember. We had to reimagine and reconfigure just about everything. Looking at arrival and dismissal, our cleaning procedures, use of technology, and our entire instructional model had to be changed. We put an emphasis on social distancing and we had a focus on sanitizing everything. We have some students here, most of our students are here every other day, and some are not even here at all and are learning remotely. The hybrid kids, I think, feel as if they are here um, just by creating like engaging activities that kids want to take part in. Even as teachers and students, we've all had to adjust to this new reality that we live in, but it's really fun to see the learning stay at the same level as what it always has, and in some ways even excel. The teachers try their best to involve all the students, even if they're fully remote, to make sure that we still get the best out of the school year. Yeah, I definitely think they do the best they can do to make being uh, on Zoom and being in person as uh, similar as they can be. They still try and include you in class and make you feel like you're just as much a part of the experience as the people who are in person are. Well, there have been definitely a lot of challenges this year and a lot of things that look a lot different. But in the midst of all of that, I feel like we have really remained committed to our mission of ensuring that our students are all learning. And that means ensuring that they're learning whether they're sitting here in our classrooms or whether they're sitting at home in their living room um, or working from home. So one of the things that is you know, really imperative when we're trying to ensure that kids are learning is trying to figure out where are they having challenges, where are they maybe making missteps, and being able to then provide them with additional time and support. So I'm a fully remote student and the experience is pretty good so far. I have a good schedule and all my grades are really amazing because I've been able to focus more and have more time. What are some of the positives that you're taking away this year that you, you like or, or uh, look forward to? Some of the positives is that I can talk to the teacher more because before I couldn't really ask questions because there's so many kids and it was hard to stay focused, but now I can ask questions whenever I need to and I'm, I can be really focused. So advisory has always been a revitalizing part of the day and a way for our students to kickstart their entire day here at Windsor Middle School. So we've really focused on encouraging connections goal setting, team building, and allowing all students, whether you're remote or in person, to connect to the day's activities and events that are happening around the building. We have really large ensembles here at the middle school. We have a really great music program, really supportive district. So some of these choruses have been 60 kids. In a typical year, we would have spread them out, but even then, we wouldn't have enough space in the auditorium. So we split that 30 kids into two groups, one group that is learning piano on stage, and one group that's learning ukulele down in the musical pit. As opposed to a normal year where we'd be working in a massive ensemble, it's more of a team sport. This year is a little bit more about individual growth for the students. They're building skills they wouldn't in a normal school year. Keeping with what we've offered before with food distribution, the district has really worked hard to ensure that all students are fed. We still have our free breakfast. When students get off the bus, they go through the dining room, get that free breakfast. But now we also send home free meals and these meals are a week's worth of meals for our students. And this is open to all students in our building, which is a great opportunity. We also ensure that our remote learners have access to this food through pickup or delivery. Doris, hold on my calls. As you can see here, we have a lot to be proud of at Windsor Central Middle School. Ryan, again? Oh, aren't you supposed to be somewhere? Sorry, Mr. Shirley, I couldn't help myself. Aren't you supposed to be at lunch right now? Yeah, I think it's Taco Tuesday, actually. I'm hungry. Pandemic changed almost everything there is about us, except the most important thing, and that's who we are and why we're here. 
Fortunately, we have a strong culture and many structures in place that have allowed us to continue our pursuit of excellence so that our students can achieve and thrive. Now, the pandemic is not going to be here forever, but I am confident that we will emerge from it better than before.